my name is Mary Gollum, and welcome to day 8 of the 1660 Challenge. That's right. And a fantastic day at that. If you're not already enlightened, I'm spending two months writing a script every single day, posting a video about my process on the Ethernet for all of you to see. And you can follow along at a rest stop bathroom or at home by doing the same or by doing whatever you like. You know, the choice is yours. Whether that be creating uh, 60 new types of protopasta PLA polymer plastics or trying 60 new survival tactics, that's, it's up to you. I, decide, I, I decided to do short film scripts, you know, because I think that's what's going to benefit me the most, personally. With that out of the way, let's get started. First things first, you may have noticed I'm not looking off to the side now. That's because my teleprompter is temporarily fixed. Very temporarily. It's not a permanent solution at all, but hey. And it's not too big of a deal yet, because I'm actually leaving campus very soon to go to a trip to KCACTF in Region 3. Another theater-related thing coming through for you. I was invited as an Irene Ryan Scholarship nominee, so I'll be auditioning down there and enjoying the conference. Which also means you get to come along for the ride. That's right! Ooh, yeah, so I'll look forward to that. It's gonna be a good time. But for right now, we've got a really dope, jam-packed episode for you. You may remember all the way back in uh, episode two, I think it was, that I mentioned I had a notebook that I left up in college with story beats in it. Well, here is that notebook, and as it turns out, not only is this immensely helpful, but it was also perfect for today's calendar, which is also our very first time trying out some new story structure techniques. That's right, it's great. So today we're gonna be looking at the story clock method. Film Riot has some fantastic videos on this subject, and uh, with their pal and director, Seth Worley, you know, he launched a whole business just out of these storytelling books using this technique. It's immensely powerful. It's not magic. You can't go into it with nothing. You gotta give it a walnut so you can grow an oak tree, so to speak. Essentially, if you get an idea for a script and have a lot of, like, random, unorganized ideas, this method is fantastic. It'll help you organize each of those down into very small sections and increments, something that is actually very helpful for a lot of people. It's pacing, you know? I know for me anyway, that pacing was something that I really had to work on, especially when I was first starting out. And even now, it helps to have such a rigid structure organizing right in front of you. It even helps with little things, like uh, how to establish your metaphorical gun, when to fire that gun, you know, setups and payoffs, that is. So, what did I put this thing to use for? A 10 minute short film that I plan on using as a submission piece for a lot of stuff in the future. It's a good time, you can see my story clock right here. It's dialogueless. it's a horror film called Cabin Fever. The main protagonist struggles with a punching bag, a demon, and himself. For this one, I really wanted to emphasize strong thematic ambience, you know, that eraser head style thing. You get all those hearings like like wind creaking through the house at night, or the sound of slamming wood against against the doors, and, and, and it echoes throughout the place like drums. I want it to be tangible and textured, you know, because there's no dialogue to distract, and uh, I want to be really sparing with music. So this script is actually within my means, because a lot of the props are things I already have or I could easily access if need be, which I'm hoping I will. And I'm also hoping I could do this film relatively soon, within the next couple of months for sure. So, uh, yeah, pretty quick episode. That'll be just about it for us today. Hope you learned a little bit about the story clock. Sorry I didn't really explain it very well, but if you check out the description for some links, it'll really help uh, with their videos. Tune in tomorrow for another fantastic f day of feats in writing. And if you're doing the challenge yourself, that's fantastic. You're great. Keep it up. And if you're not doing the hashtag 60 and 60 challenge, uh, that's okay too. It's only day eight. So uh, join, share with me your stuff that you're using, using that hashtag. All right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you like my, my story clock. It's very messy um, and out of focus, but that's okay. All right. Thanks for stopping by.